Loading. Loaded, I would say, considering we're speaking of Napoleon. So we are, wonderfully represented as he magnificently crosses the Alps, painted by Jacques David. Only to fortunately return to his natural dimensions, those of the dwarf we know he was. Here, Jacques David represents and invents neoclassicism with these marvelous arches that recall ancient Rome. Yes, he does. An imperial eagle threatens Marcel from above, throwing crowns at him, crowns by anger. It's threatening coronation. It's being terrible lies precisely in the possibility of becoming king, of being crowned and celebrated anew. And then being decapitated, which was not infrequent at the time. Marcel Duchamp must defend himself from the bayonets and the guillotine. He's timed that pretty well. Didn't he, though? Good. Now he has to confront the Napoleons. Liberty leading the people by Delacroix is a good bonus. He got it again. Rose la vie. Napoleon has defeated him, but there are too many Napoleons here. And unfortunately, they keep coming in series. How come there are so many Napoleons here? And this can't be. In fact, it's not the original. It's the product of cloning. We know that the chemistry of the time had already began to transform. Nothing is created, nothing is destroyed. Lavoisier. Everything is reproduced. There's our beautiful elevator by Magritte that is taking Marcel... To the cellar, where he finally faces the other masterpiece, again painted by Jacques-Louis David, the portrait of Lavoisier. Here, the celebration of art becomes spokesman of social status. Napoleon understood how important it was to be portrayed and had a slew of them done by all the great artists. Lavoisier, too, understood the lesson. The first chemist in the history of science, though, now seems to have lost his mind in the celebration and is set to reproducing, cloning these Napoleons one after the other. Look how our poetic Marcel is as he continues to defend himself totally non-violently with his umbrella. Yes, he opens his umbrella of peace onto the passion of his desires. Desires to pacify, to lead to a dimension which is... There's a bonus. I think that it's Pauline Bonaparte, sculpted by Canova. Yes, a neoclassical masterpiece found in Rome. And now he has to go to the depths of perspective and attempt to free, to kick out of the game, the electrochemistry of reproducibility. And Lavoisier seems to be working on this. He did it. And this masterpiece, too, is freed. So it is, free from celebration. Napoleon in the Empyrean.